Last week, Microsoft released their consumer preview of Windows 8, which is also known as the beta version. Now, we have been given a uh, tablet from Acer, which is a Windows tablet running AMD, um, but we've upgraded it to the Windows 8 beta version. So we're gonna go through some of the touch features on Windows 8 now to give you an idea of what it's gonna be like later on in the year when we've got Windows 8 out of the marketplace on tablets. Let's have a look. Now, so what we've got here is uh, Windows 8 running or Windows 8 consumer preview running on the Acer W500, which runs currently on Windows 7. So I'm gonna show you some of the features of Windows 8. You can see here right away, it looks very similar to the Metro style uh, user interface that we see on the uh, Nokia phone that we uh, reviewed a little while ago. Um, but instead of being vertical, we've got horizontal tiles here. And uh, being a computer, you can imagine on your desktop how many tiles you've had, you can actually group them. And if you wanted to actually rearrange some of these groups, simply squeeze this down here like that, and actually move the group all the way over here instead. Or you can move them in between, um, over here, and then just double tap, and it all brings it back up again. So for example, we could be in uh, the store, as an example. And the store is actually live with free uh, apps at the moment uh, for people to try, give feedback. Um, and you can see here if we go across, there's quite a bit up there in terms of productivity, photos, etc. Now, how do we get to other apps while we're in one app? This is all about multitasking. So if we move our finger to the edge and bring that in, you can actually see that we'll have a game come up that I've put on. We then have uh, the store come back. Okay. Now, if we've got multiple uh, applications open, we want to see them all, what we do is bring our finger out and then stab it back, and you can see all the other apps that are there. For example, we've got a map. Let's bring that map up here. We can, uh, that's the uh, big map there. We can show it in an aerial view, so satellite view, for example. All right, now, how do we go back to the start? How do we get to the metro again? So there's two ways to do that. You can either press a hard button here, or we have what's called charms on the right-hand side. So we bring our finger out from the edge, we bring out here, and you've got a few what's called charms, uh, which is Microsoft's term for it. Uh, we've got to search, so we can search for, uh, within apps, we can share, and share, as you know, is becoming a big thing um, in all ecosystems. The actual start button, other devices, uh, such as monitors, for example, and then settings. Uh, settings involves settings uh, for this particular app, but you can also go into other settings for the PC. So we just hit the start button here, and we're back to the beginning. Now, what about all the other apps and all the things that aren't actually pinned to the start button? How do we get to those? Now, so all we've got to do here is just bring our finger up, you can see all apps icon comes up, we press that, and there they are, they're all there. So for example, uh, if we use uh, Notepad quite a bit, uh, we can actually bring that and pin that in. So we just press onto that, we bring it down like that, gives us an opportunity here to pin it to the start, pin it to the taskbar, uh, which is in the desktop, open it in a new window, run it as an admin, or open the file location. Open file location takes you back to the desktop style. But we're gonna pin that to the start button. All right, so now we just press this hard button, takes it back to start, and there you have it, there it is, notepads there, we open that up. And because it's a uh, program as opposed to an app, it opens up within the desktop. So you can see here, desktop is actually now um, just another app within Windows 8, uh, but still acts very much like a desktop. For example, now I went in, um, and I can open up, uh, files here and looks just like a Windows 7 of old. So we've got our library documents, music, pictures and videos. This is where um, in an enterprise or office space, you still find most of the usage would be happening. But outside of that, for entertainment, uh, for gaming, for books, anything mildly tablet related, I imagine that most people will be reverting back to here. So of course the question will be, um, from an enterprise point of view, how many people will be upgrading to Windows 8 as opposed to staying with Windows 7 because they may not, might not necessarily need the app-based functionality. Uh, what else can I show you? If we bring this down. Oh yeah, okay, the other thing I'll show you is how to actually close an app. So as we mentioned, we've got all of these apps over here, so we'll just open one up and we'll bring our finger out and we'll snap it back. Now we've got an app, for example, um, a browser here, so we'll bring that out. Now, if we want to actually close that, because it is actually in the background at the moment, all we have to do is um, bring our finger down from the top, and then load our finger down, it minimizes, drag it a bit further down, and voila, it's gone. So next time we open up that uh, side show here, 
and snap that back in, it's disappeared over there. So everything is quite intuitive. I had to play with it only for um, a couple of days, and it seems to make a lot of sense. Um, the one thing obviously here is how will the desktop link in? Um, one of the obvious uh, issues that are currently that, that's currently um, being brought up with, uh, with Windows 8 is the um, availability of Windows Explorer within the desktop, which if we open that, it has a browser. Um, but we can also open a separate uh, browser here within the App Store, oh, sorry, within the Metro style of space, uh, which is a different interface altogether, which is much more touch-based. And you can actually uh, move between the two. And they don't actually talk to each other, so there's no real linking of bookmarks or history or anything like that. So we're obviously eager to see how, uh, because our lines can be a big part of this whole ecosystem, how will they be able to address that issue there? Um, so that's it, that's uh, an example um, and a quick tour of how Windows 8 is going to work on a tablet. Until next time.